doing a couple little clips of different things um, to add to some of these YouTube videos since it's very hard to film right now with this COVID-19 problem going on. Uh, I'm going to cut up some shrimp and some, give some pinkies to the little saltwater crocodile. This saltwater crocodile I've had now for a couple years. Uh, he's really awesome. I've learned a lot about different crocodilian species and this little guy has taught me a lot. So we're going to cut up some of the shrimp and we're going to go ahead and put it in for the little salty and we give them a variety of food. We give them uh, shrimp, we give them pinkies, we do give them some other meats. The shrimp is actually a big part of their diet. It does thicken them up and where they're from in Australia, they have been known to eat shrimp. So it's actually a good combination. We got little pinkies and then we also are going to do uh, shrimp and we feed them a pile of this. So that's what we're going to feed them. We're going to feed them this pile of food. We're going to sit it on his little floating island and then uh, we're going to move on to another animal. And we do keep him in a tank right now just because he is small, but we're going to pile this food on and there's the little salty there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to feed the Savannah Monitor a couple small mice. You can see them here. Uh, we're going to feed it to him. And normally he's pretty food responsive, so this is going to be pretty exciting. Now the next one we're going to feed is actually a small alligator. His name is Keychain. Uh, we got Keychain from uh, Alligator Farmer. He's also the same guy that I get some of the larger alligators from that we purchased so they're not killed. We ended up purchasing this little alligator so chances are he probably wouldn't have made it. He was missing his tail. He's doing very well and we're going to show you feeding him. And there's little Keychain. You can see him in the middle there. And we're going to go ahead and see if he'll eat. And you can see on the tip of that alligator on the tail, it's missing over half of the tail. That's why he got his name Keychain. But absolutely beautiful animal and just glad to have him and give him a forever home. are the Indian spotted turtles, which is an endangered species. And you'll see him about to eat. And he's going to be eating the reptomen. So Sarah and I are feeding uh, some of the crocodiles today. Uh, we're going to feed the Nile crocodile, we're going to feed the Cuban crocodile, and then uh, some of the smaller alligators. Go, go ahead and just give them one. You coming? Yeah. Well, you got to go back in. Come on.
in the nail crocodile. And we're feeding them turkey necks because all the kidneys, livers, hearts, everything was sold out. So we had to cut these up so we could feed it to them. He's being gentle today. Well, this is Crocodilus niloticus. This animal will get 18 to 19 feet and over a thousand pounds. What do you think? I think he's good. Sarah's about to open up the Cuban enclosure, which is a Cuban Nile cross, but he is more Cuban than Nile. So uh, we're gonna show you the little Cuban. When the Cuban croc just ate a few days ago, we we're just trying to give them a little bit of extra food just cause it is a little scarce right now. But um, as you can see, he's not really interested in wanting to take any food right now. And you can see the black and white tegu taking down some of the chicken neck. You can see he just shed all his skin off. He pretty much just came out of hibernation. Still see some of the loose skin on his head. I'll have to get that off, but. I'm gonna give him another piece, try to get this stuff off. Now this little guy is an American alligator. His name is Randy. And this is Sarah's little pride and joy. And Randy normally has a pretty bad attitude. Sarah named him after Randy Savage, the wrestler. 